Hello and welcome one and all, I am Old School Gamer 1971 a special shout out to Millie and Lloyd. Hope you're all having a great day and are staying safe. Today's subject matter is PlayStation Plus for December 2020. Before we begin if you enjoy the video give it a big thumbs up, like and if it pleases you check out my channel and subscribe. So without further ado, Just Cause 4 developed by Avalanche Studios. It's an adventure game that came to the PlayStation 4 in 2018. I remember being at EGX and seeing Simon Miller present this game on a massive screen. It looked amazing then and still looks amazing now. It's an open world that just lets you get as crazy and as creative as you could ever wish for. These games always have a big sandbox and this time is no different. There is a plot but I never take too much notice of that one. It's all about big explosions and crazy stunts. Always fun and certainly a great game for PlayStation Plus. Add in the extreme weather effects and physics, it truly allows for some epic moments in both success or in my case, spectacular failure. up we have Rocket Arena. Developed by Final Strike Games, it's an online shooter that came to the PlayStation 4 in 2020. One look at this game and you can see EA were looking for some of that Overwatch dollar. Like Overwatch, the game is a lot of fun to play with varied characters in looks, abilities and weapons. I got really lucky in the game with two good teammates. Certainly, being free does sway more in its favour. But I will say that I can see depth within the game in my short time with the game. Definitely one for the online multiplayers, but a bit of a confession. I could see myself playing this the odd night when no one is looking. It's a three on three affair and again, another good if not great addition to PlayStation Plus. And finally, Worms Rumble, developed by Team 17. It's an online shooter that came to the PlayStation 5 in 2020. This game, in a way, should be applauded. Whilst it is not my thing, the gameplay is a natural progression from the original Worms from all those years ago. In years gone by, it was couch co-op only. Now, with it being online and even a bit of a Smash Bros-esque type game, but still, you can see its roots. Being able to dress your worm how you want to, it's nice to see something different from what has came before. Also, I didn't exactly expect another PlayStation 5 offering this month, with bug snacks being free until January. So all good here. Nothing that could not have been done last generation, but certainly better than the last few worms outings. Since the release of the PlayStation 5, so far all is good with both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 offerings on PlayStation Plus. In time the PlayStation 5 offerings will get better, but for now at least we are getting good variety and the backwards compatibility does go a long way to making this work. And it is done. If you found this video interesting or have any suggestions, Please comment down below as it will put a big old smile on this old face. Let's get the conversation started, I will answer you all. I post new content every week. Have a great day one and all and thank you for your support. This has been Old School Gamer 1971 signing off.